Hey guys, so in this video, I thought that I would film a should you count your macros while you're pregnant video. So if you guys are new to my channel or new to my story and my journey, you guys would know, I mean, you wouldn't know <laughs> that um, I come from a past of counting macros. Um, I found that this was the best way for me to um, keep myself in check in terms of my diet, what I was eating. Um, it allowed me to not only stay lean and healthy, but it also allowed me to see how much protein I was getting, how much fat I was getting, how much, how many carbs. Was I eating too much salt? Was I having too much sugar? Um, all of those things are what um, counting your macros can do for you because a lot of times we completely go in blind. We think we have an idea of the things that are in our food and a lot of the times we don't. So um, this just kind of helped me to stay healthy and lean and feel good about myself and allow me to see you know what I was what I was consuming now now that I am pregnant obviously disclaimer I do not and I am in no way saying that women who are pregnant should diet I think that is incredibly foolish and it's stupid and that is not at all what I am saying what I'm talking about is counting your macros obviously increasing your calories and your protein levels to make sure that you are getting enough for your baby boy or your baby girl I am currently 21 weeks pregnant with our baby girl little Blake Audrey and I in the beginning was not counting my macros in the first trimester but now I am counting my macros because I need to know that I'm eating what I should be eating for her because babies need protein, they need fat, they need vitamin C, they need iron, they need fiber, um, all of those things. And I feel like if you just kind of eat on a whim, you don't necessarily know if you're getting enough of those things. So I personally think it's great to um, count your macros when you're pregnant as well because you need to know what you're consuming and make sure you're consuming enough. Now, when I first started, I realized very quickly that I was not eating l nearly enough um, protein. Like my protein was seriously, seriously lacking because I was craving mostly carbs. So I would never have known that had I not counted my macros and thought, okay, I need to get more protein into my diet. So now that I have, I had this right in front of me like not eating enough protein I should I researched it and a lot of websites and doctors recommend that you have at least 90 grams of protein a day when you're pregnant and I was getting maybe 35 to 40 which is not nearly enough so now that I track I make sure I hit my protein at least 90 grams every single day and I brought I bought a um, New Zealand whey protein powder I'm having more chicken and more eggs and um, you know if if I it's almost the end of the day and I only have one meal left and I haven't hit my protein I know that for dinner I need to have a higher protein source so that I hit that number so that I can be as healthy as I can for her so that's just one of the benefits is it just lets you know like if you're lacking in anything and I was really lacking in protein so that's one major reason why I like it the other reason why I like it is for to see my salt intake because when you're pregnant um, we us women naturally will put on quite a bit of, of water weight and um, a lot of women swell and they have um, edema and it's just really uncomfortable and um, actually too much swelling and can lead to higher blood pressure and more weight gain and it can lead to preeclampsia. So it's really important to make sure that your sodium levels are not through the roof and you're not getting too much water weight because that's not good for you and it's not good for the baby either. So one thing I like about using, I use my fitness pal by the way to count my macros or to keep track of them. So one reason why I like it so much is because I'll put my food in for the day and I can see if I'm over the recommended sodium, amount of sodium per day, or if I'm under, if I'm under, I'm super happy about it. If I'm right on, it's not that bad. I rarely go over because I see that number in front of me. So it's really important to track your sodium and using my fitness pal and tracking your macros gives you a way to do that so that 
you're not putting yourself or your baby at risk and you're not going to develop high blood pressure or edema or um, like too much swelling and preeclampsia. The other reason why I think it's important to count your macros and use MyFitnessPal is so that you're not eating 3,000 calories a day. Um, basically, when I wasn't counting, I was eating almost whatever I wanted. And um, when I actually plugged it in one day, it was about 3,000, which was terrible. So obviously, we need to eat more when we're pregnant than when we're not pregnant. However, that amount is not 3,000 calories, let alone 2,500 calories. That amount is whatever you typically eat to maintain a healthy diet, and it says in the first and second trimester, you're only supposed to eat for 1.1, not eating for two. So they recommend your first trimester, you eat an extra 150 calories. Your second trimester, they recommend about 200 calories. And your third trimester, they say you should be eating about an extra 300 calories. So when you think about that, like 300 calories, extra calories a day is like one glass of full fat milk. That's it. Um, and like it's just crazy how everyone in society has this mentality that you have to eat for two, like eat, 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 eat. But it's actually not the case. It's not, um, we're not supposed to eat that much in, and it will put our baby at risk if we do gain too much weight. Um, obviously every body is different. There are some women I know that are super healthy and they just happen to gain 60 pounds, 70 pounds. And, and they're healthy and they had healthy babies. So I'm not saying that like if you gain above the recommended amount that you're not healthy. I'm absolutely not saying that. I'm just saying that this counting your macros will kind of help you not to overindulge and continuously eat 3000 calories a day and make your pregnancy and your delivery um, harder and put yourself at risk for all these different things that can happen. It's just gonna kind of give you that mental picture like you see it in front of you, so it's just gonna give you that picture of like, okay, I'm at about where I should be for the day. If I'm still hungry, I'll eat something, but I'm gonna pick something that's a little bit healthier. Or, okay, I've eaten way too much and I feel awful, so tomorrow I'm just gonna eat a, eat like within this range or whatever. So it just helps to like keep on track. So what I did was originally before I was pregnant, I was eating about 15 to 1600 calories a day. And right now I'm eating anywhere from 18 to 1900 calories a day. Um, I do find that that is enough for me. Um, I know that some days I am really hungry and I just wanna eat, 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 eat. But now that I'm picking healthier foods, I can eat more calories and, well, no, that's not true. I can eat more food but have lesser calories because I'm not eating like a Wendy's burger and fry combo. I'm having like my calories from vegetables and chicken and more natural sources so I can eat more of it but not go crazy. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just sticking to that and then it just kind of helps me feel like I'm not out of control as well because obviously you know, I love this little girl more than anything in the world already and I will gain 100 pounds. If, if you told me it was healthy to gain 100 pounds for her, I would do it. I, I'm not um, at all about like, oh, I can't gain too much weight because da da da. Like I'm gonna gain what is healthy for her and healthy for me and for a healthy pregnancy and delivery. I'm just saying that it really helps counting your macros to just not go crazy and not put on too much because when you put on too much, it does give get you into a risk of all these things that aren't good like preeclampsia and um, gestational diabetes and it makes it so much harder for your delivery and so much harder after. So it just counting your macros and making sure you're getting enough protein for the baby, enough fat. Um, keeping your sodium levels down just kind of really helps in your everyday food choices and really like opens your eyes to seeing like holy crap I was eating way too much of this or way too much of this or in my case not enough protein not enough of this I've hardly had any vitamin C today you know so I hope that I didn't come across as like oh my god if you gain too much weight you're like not healthy like I'm not at all saying that I am 21 weeks and I have gained 20 pounds I think and that was more than I thought I would gain but I'm still active and I'm eating healthy so obviously my body's gonna put on the weight that I need to support her so I'm okay with it I'm happy that I'm able to grow a human and be healthy for her I'm just simply saying that you know I've stopped 
eating chocolate bars after chocolate bars and eating three 3,500 calories a day because that's just not healthy for anybody, let alone a pregnant woman. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I really, it, I mean, it's it seriously helped me so, so much. And I just feel like now I'm in more control. I know what's going into my body. I don't have any swelling yet. Um, I don't feel like I have a lot of like water weight or anything like that. Um, but because I, I am watching like my sodium and stuff like that. So I feel like I'm rambling a lot in this video and I apologize if I am, it's just pregnancy brain. But yeah, bottom line, I just think it's, it's so helpful and um, just to keep us on track and like eating everything that we should be eating for the baby and making sure we don't go crazy and, and you know, getting all the nutrients in that we need. So that's basically the point of this whole video. So yeah, um, I hope you guys liked the video. Sorry that it was like all over the place, but you know, I have pregnancy brain because I'm pregnant now and things are just kind of blah, 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 and they're just, sometimes they just go away, they're out to lunch, I don't know where they went. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and let me know if you guys have any questions um, or comments or anything. Um, Yes. I also did want to say too though that obviously me eating 18 to 1900 calories a day doesn't mean that you should be eating 18 to 1900 calories. I'm eating based on what is healthy for me, my height, my weight, um, my activity level plus the extra, now I'm eating about an extra 300 calories a day for her. So um, I'm not at all saying you have to eat what I'm eating. Some people will need more, some people will need less. It just depends on where you are and what's healthy and as long as you know your doctor is saying yep yeah, you're doing good like you're gaining like the appropriate amount of weight and you are consistently putting on weight then that's awesome um i just didn't want to be one of those people that wasn't gaining enough or was like crazy gaining so much weight and my midwife would be like okay like you are eating way too much like this way it's just you have to do what's healthy for you and for your body. So just keep that in mind, okay? Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.